You know those cold calls. The one from the call centers of those where nobody speaks at all. Well, what happens if someone has the wrong number? Grace Powell, recently divorced, had just moved into her new apartment. For a few months she lived quite a peaceful life. Then the calls came. She would get in every day around 6pm after work. Her phone would ring. At first, she ignored the calls. But the calls then became more persistent and they would call around 30 times a night. She eventually gave in and started answering the calls. Hello? She would ask. Sorry, wrong number. The person on the phone would reply and a series of coded messages would play and Grace would listen. Though she only listened for a few small seconds. She wasn't easily frightened but this sent shivers down her spine. Weeks went by and the phone kept ringing and she kept answering and hearing Sorry, wrong number. Each time she would listen to the coded messages a little longer than the last, out of her own morbid curiosity. The final call was the worst, because it was when she was in the worst temperament, and had been through enough. So she finally said, Look! Why do you keep calling me? I'm sick of it. Every night when I come home from work, you're calling. The person on the other end interrupted. Sorry, wrong number. This time, she didn't listen to the coded messages. She just left the phone on the kitchen worktop for about an hour before hanging up. The worst mistake she could ever make. A couple of weeks went by with no calls. Grace thought it the end of her torment. The time had come for Grace to go to bed that evening. She heard a knock at her door. Frightened and disgruntled, she opened the door to find nobody there. She looked left and then right. Still, no one was around, really. Who is around at 2 a.m.? Then she slammed the door shut. Grace then quickly went upstairs and ran into her room. Then her phone rang. She walked into the living room and picked it up. <laughs> Hello? She trembled. She could feel something breathing down the back of her neck. Sorry. Wrong number. She turned as quick as a flash, and her screams of terror and pain were the last anyone heard of her. The moral of the story. Don't answer blocked or unknown numbers. Wait for a voicemail, then ring back because if not, it might just be the end of the road. Goodbye. <laughs>